Hi there, this is Caroline Middlebrook here and today I want to show you a little video about Market Samurai, um, a new feature they have just released. Um, I've put a couple of videos about Market Samurai on this blog before showing you some of the keyword research and competition analysis and it's another addition to the competition al analysis which they have released today. I'm here in a project which I've had before um, to do with internet marketing and I have a keyword here called make money blogging. Those of you that have followed the blog recently will know that I've been doing some article marketing to try and get a particular page on my blog, the one which promotes my bloggers bible um, fast track product to try and rank for that particular keyword. Uh, it's not going very well so far, it's buried down in the results. Now what this particular feature does is this SEO competition module will analyze the top 10 pages which are currently ranking for that keyword. So these 10 results here are what is currently run ranking for make money blogging in Google right now. And this is on the global version of Google, not sort of um, a UK specific one for example. So at the top here we've got Steve Pavlina's one, we've got Dosh Dosh Pro Blogger occupies a couple of spots here. Um, we've got a few home pages here, Blogging Zombie, Blogging Experiment, I'm going to talk a little bit about this one, um, sorry not that one, um, Make Money for Beginners and the Blogspot blog. But there's a new feature now which is add custom URLs. What this allows you to do is add in your own URLs that do not appear in the top 10 list and that's what these are here. You click on this button and it allows you to add in your own. So what I've done here is put in my home page and also the second one is the particular page which I've been trying to get to rank. What this is showing me here is my home page. This column BLP stands for the backlinks which are to that particular page. So I've got quite a few to my home page, 7,000 there. Only 153 to this particular um, fast track page, which explains why my home page is ranking higher than this particular page. If we look at the optimization, I haven't got the keyword in a description tag, I should add that in. But other than that, this particular page is optimized for the keyword, but of course my home word, my home page, sorry, isn't. And strangely it's in the description, but anyway. So what this allows you to do is see how you compare specifically against various competition. Now there's a few things I wanted to look at in here. Steve Pavlina, his particular page, no one's ever going to outrank that. It's about blogging, it's about making money with your blog. He's got lots and lots of backlinks to that particular page as well as a ton to his domain. His blog is several years old, it's got reasonable PR, you're just, you're just not going to beat it despite the fact that it's not specifically optimized for that particular word. Now again, with things like Dosh Dosh Pro Blogger, the things you're up against here are you know, the domain age, these sites have been going for a few years, they've already got lots of PR, they've got thousands and thousands of backlinks to the domains as a whole. I mean, look at this Pro Blogger, I mean, what is that, 5 million? five million backlinks? That's just crazy. But also several thousand and several hundred here to individual pages within the site. You just cannot compete with that. Now what I've done also is you can click this arrow here and do an analysis. Hopefully this will still have the information that I've loaded up from before. This is an analysis of the backlinks which I've got to this particular page. And as you can see here, out of 149, 145 of them are PR0 which is pretty much worthless. So I've got a, a 1 here and um, a few PR2s, so they're doing okay, but that those are probably the ones which has given this page a PR2, but the PR0s aren't going to do very much good at all. Now if you compare that to the PR analysis for my home page, this will only analyze the first 1,000 links. So you know, there's like 7,700 there, so it's not going to do them all, but this gives you a good idea. And as you can see, there's loads of PR zeros, but then we've got lots of one, two, three, four, five. I've even got a, a PR six here. Um, I think there might be a slight error here. It shows that my blog has a PR of zero. Um, at the moment, the home page is a PR three, so that's probably just a glitch. But you can see why the home page is just so much stronger than the internal page. It's the backlinks are so important. Now there's another site that I wanted to point out here. 
this is the one that no one's ever heard of this is Grizzly um, his website and I spoke about him briefly uh, a few weeks ago on the blog he's always nagging me about something or other saying that I suck just like everyone else does but anyway um, again if we look at his site he's got 19,000 links 17,000 of them are coming into his home page but again look at he's got PR1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s four of them here at PR5 and this is only showing the, the first 1,000 and he's got 17,000 so that's why this particular page is ranking highly despite the fact that it's fairly new it doesn't have page rank it's not optimized for the keywords what this is telling you is it's all about backlinks and currently my little page which I have has a very very poor backlink um, profile so I'm not going to get anywhere with that particular page as long as I keep adding these PR0 links I need to have something much stronger so this is a really handy little tool now what this is useful for as well is um, by default this is only going to show you the top 10 and of course looking at these results I can see there's no way I'm going to compete with anyone in the top 10 so I'd probably be more interested in having a look at say the results from 11 to 20 so I could do that with this tool I could just go through manually and just paste in um, sort of half a dozen results from the second page and see how I compare with those or the third page or fourth page whatever and just move up that way so it's a, a very handy little feature so I hope this has been useful